the name? Sorry? Rabbit. Sorry? Yeah. Rabbit. Rabbit. That's just your name, yes. Rabbit. Yeah, I've got a surname. Joe Wilkinson. Sorry? Wilkinson. It's Rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah, I know, but... What's your date birth, please, Rabbit? I'd oh, rather not give it for my day of birth. What's your home address? I don't know if it's abode. Can you read okay? Yes. Are you able to read what that says? Sure. Or should you need me to read it to you? No. Apparently it's a problem nowadays. Oh, I've become a problem. Sure. Can you read it? Yes. Well, can you read it to me? Sorry, you wrote it so you know okay. what it says. It just says I get the property on the 12th of July. Okay, I'll read it to you. Obviously, if you want to do this all officially. I confirm collection of the property listed above, handed to me on the 12th of July 2009, outside Chiswick Police Station. Did you? Okay. So, are you happy Are you happy to sign that? Or not? Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Can you sign there, please? Lovely. Just for the record, I wrote peace and love for all. <laughs> to all, even. I wrote peace and love to all. <laughs> <laughs> Companies buy big buildings like this, or even buildings that don't have any planning permission and aren't going to get any, and leave it for about five years, boarded up and derelict. And then it's an eyesore, so the council then complains there's this eyesore, and they go, oh, well, we've got a solution for that, we can build a nice new building. I'm going to move back into a house, but a house in Barnes, which is beautiful spot for London. So I had to look at this fellow. Yeah, we've we've squatted uh, the local MP's house and Anne Keen and uh, Alan Keen. They're people who uh, have been stealing uh, taxpayers' money. Yeah, we, we kind of caught them out basically, and they're, they're saying that this is their main home. So they can get expenses for their other home. Oh, okay. But in order for that to happen, they must live here three or four nights a week. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there's actually no floor. Okay. They're, they're, but they can't live. Do no, they? MPs do not live here. So uh, tomorrow we've got a big court case as well. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Thanks for the pizza. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, go in, go in. Yeah. I think they're talking about the expenses in general. So the announcement then against the MPs because of the expenses scandal was the only action taken against them. Just, just to say that the expenses scandal was actually, was actually created to take the heat off the bankers. But even if they're okay, yeah, we get rid of them because all they, these guys took a piss of the expenses, let's get rid of Van Allen Key. I'm going to get some other toss pipe. You keep fucking going on with that argument, and there's just no point in trying because. Of course okay, is. so we take out one MP, but another one will replace him. Okay, so we take out every MP, but someone else will replace him. Oh, so we've taken out every banker, but someone else is going to replace him, then why bother trying? So what you do is so you, you take out the MP, and then you provide the services that they're trying to provide. Yeah. And that's, and what, that's what we didn't quite manage to do, but on hindsight, that's what we should do in future actions. Thank you.
Any recording equipment, any cameras, as we know, any uh, other that <laughs> <laughs> Say the Keynes, um, have fun in your back in your, when you're back in your neighbourhood because your constituency hates you. To do something. You know in the Matrix when it's the blue pill or the red pill? It makes a choice whether to forget everything and go back into the Matrix or to find out what it all has got and everything. And sometimes it feels a little bit like that once you sort of realise 9-11 and realise how corrupt the whole world is and everything. And sometimes you just wish, fuck it, I wish I'd taken the other pill, gone straight back and I wish I had a job and I wish I just had a nice DVD collection that was all good and I could just chill and be fucking normal. <laughs> 